Okay, so here's a funky little number. Uh, how about using your external drum machine as a sequencer to sequence effects within live? Many reasons for possibly wanting to do this, um, but the main one I could come up with is that it's quite a lot of fun. So over here, I've got um, a TR505. It's a pretty old drum machine, but it does output MIDI and it outputs MIDI on various notes. And here are the sounds within the machine. Okay, nothing particularly inspiring, but what would happen if we could turn this little sequence into um, something that we could use to control something other than sound? Now, I've set up a simpler pattern. And as you can see on the live screen here, that these clips here are being triggered. Now, I've done a lot of setup prior to this, what I'm going to do is process this drum break here. This is a classic Amen drum break. And it's going to be going through this FX channel. So it's all about routing. We're sending the audio, or rather pulling the audio into this effects track from the breaks track. I've set this to sends only so that we won't hear the original or dry signal. We're only going to hear the process signal. And within the effects track here, what I've done is set up a rack. And this rack has got 16 different effects on it and they've been spread across the chains from zero to 15. You can see that they're also grouped into bunches of four. The first four are flange style effects. The second one, the second four are distortions. The third ones are grain delays or delay effects. And the last ones are reverbs. So what I've done is set these across different chains. And I've also created 16 clips here using an empty audio clip and an envelope that has a chain selector envelope drawn on it, one for each of the 16 chains that I have created in the rack. So by launching these clips here, you'll see that the chain selector in the bottom window is jumping around, selecting different effects. Now you may have seen this technique used before, but perhaps you've seen it used with alternative triggering systems, perhaps even follow actions. So the final part of this picture is to go into the MIDI mapping mode and then to go through each of these clips here and assign them to the various notes that are being output from the TR505. So I'm just going to do that quickly. And then out of MIDI mapping mode and we're all set. This system allows me to use not only the buttons on the 505 here to change those effects. Now, I'm just going to mute the original drum sounds. So I've effectively turned my drum machine into a MIDI controller. It's enabling me to jump between different effects. Now, let's put this um, little drum loop here on. That's already quite a lot of fun. It gives me an extra level of control over here, or kind of dedicated control. But what I can also do now is use the internal sequencer on the TR505 here to manipulate or change those effects, um, either according to a sequence that could be synchronized or it could be not synchronized. So if I just press start here, you will also hear the drum loop coming through. I also have the option of using the tempo control on the 505 directly to slow those effects changes down or speed them up. Lots of fun.